up, peeps? Whoa, brutal, right? Now that brings us to DTV, or shall I say DTV Cribs, because today I'm going to show you the domage. All right, bam, look at that. We got the cool lights. I mean, this is how we roll. This is no joke, peeps. This is no joke. This is DTV Cribs slash top 20 greatest movies of all time. Of course, let's be real. Devil in 60, hello, I made it. Um, yeah, so obviously that's the greatest movie. But in all of Hollywood, well, we're gonna we're gonna break it down. All right, let's take a look. All right, we got the nice UFC poster. Went to that event, amazing. Army of Darkness, uh, Freddy, gotta have it. Pulp Fish, check this out. Bam, we got Uma's autograph on that bad boy. You know, let's just make it real, okay? And Reservoir Dogs, amazing. Peeps are saying. Um, what makes you, like, the man knowing the top 20 greatest movies of our time? Well, peeps, I mean, come on. I mean, look, we're going to bring it back, we're going to bring it back, we're going to bring it back, bring it back. That is a hell of a lot of movies, all right? That's a hell of a lot of movies. I've seen my fair share. Okay, we even got drawers, peeps. We got more drawers, all right? I've seen my fair... And one more, just, you know, just so you guys know. I don't want to see you guys in the wrong direction, but the top 20 greatest movies of our time... And if you disagree, by all means, leave a comment, although I don't think there's any disagreement about it. But uh, let's first just take the tour, all right? The big-ass kitchen, all right? We got my nice, because I'm a chef, all right? Mwah, Bobby Flay, throw this down. You know what I'm saying? DX. All right, Nanny, you know what I'm talking about. Suck it. All right, uh, bam. Right there, we have the bar section, all right? When you first walk in, all right, obviously, cocktails first, questions later. And then we do some shots of the jack. All right. Um, there was a couple things um, that is noteworthy. Uh, Papa Bear's drawing. My dad actually is an artiste, and I uh, put one of his pictures up. Uh, uh, we go in the bedroom and <laughs> live nudes. Me and the snuggies. Where? Zoom. That's the bed right there. That's where we do the hokey pokey, and uh, let's just say people get done and wrap. <laughs> all right. Uh, we got the bathroom, but the kicker. All right, and we do have a pink and brown sort of uh, vibe going on in here. And you guys are like, why are you doing pink and brown? Well, because that's the color of the Willy Wonka chocolate bar wrapper. And let's face it, peeps, the bathroom is the real deal chocolate factory, okay? Ugh. But the real kicker and why I call uh, this place, you know, I shut down the tea dome uh, It was a sad moment, uh, but we opened up the Blue Lagoon. And you're saying, why you call your place the Blue Lagoon, Ryan? It's a decent question. A decent question. And I'm going to answer it for you right now, right here, because it's just a slam. All right, that's a pool. All right, and I'm talking cannonball contests. You guys think you can beat me? You better bring it. I have, I just arch my back in a certain way, and I make the biggest tidal wave you have ever seen. Like, that's what it's like when I jump in. Not because I'm fat. How dare you? Do you don't even make me show you the guns, all right? Don't even make... It'll rip through my shirt like the Incredible Hulk, and I'm not in the mood for that because I like this shirt, and I don't know if I can get a new one. But, uh, yeah, whenever you guys want, I mean, uh, parties, come on down, let's just do it. Um, you know, after a wedding, you know, a lot of people book, like, a, a banquet hall. Come to the Blue Lagoon. Let's do a cannonball contest. You know, I can do a filthy pencil in the pool, and I don't even, like, there's no water. There's no splash. It's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, right there. That's Corona Central. All right? That's Corona Central. Maybe Land Shark? But it's, uh, yeah, it's right over there. That's the Corona Central. And then we have, of course, the pool. Marco Polo. All right? All right? I want to say Marco. Who's coming over to say Polo, you know? All right. Now let's go down. You've guys seen the place, and it's pretty kick-ass. Okay? Um, now let's go through the top 20. All right, the top 20 greatest movies, and do not dispute me, okay? Here we go. I'm, gonna get, I'm sitting down because I have a certain section of where they are, okay? Here we go. Number 20, greatest movie of our time. Ba -da 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 all 
All right, no joke. Number 20, Three Amigos. I have this to a science. I've seen everything. This movie, number 20, fantastic. Number 19, greatest movie of our time. Taken, Liam Neeson. Fucking amazing. It was brutal. It was awesome. God, and he was cool. Um, hello, if you guys seen the movie, good luck. Amazing. That is definitely number 19 on the greatest movie list. Uh, number 18. Bajam. Running scared. Peeps. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It's brutal. It's intense. And it's quietly fucking amazing. Um, side note. June 26th. Charlie's Pub. Saturday. Um, it's going to be bonkersville. I'm hitting the mic. I am healthy now. And um, I did it when I was sick. And I was a little... Uh, but now I'm healthy and I'm ready to rock it out like nobody's business. I might even do a little crowd participation. You know, that's what I might do. General Patrick, what up? All right. Number 17 on the list. The Edge. All right. Bears in the fucking woods eating Alec Baldwin, trying to eat Anthony Hopkins. That screams top 20 movie, baby. All right. Number 16. All right, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This is a real deal. These are my favorite movies, top 20, and I say they're the best in the world. All right, number 16, Smoking Aces. All right, enough said. Enough said. This movie was so badass, it's not even funny. Number 15, Rant. Hard Rain, not that movie. It's, no. Hard Rain, number 15, is quite, it's, oh my God. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's kind of everything. It's, it's everything. Number 15. All right, number 14. You are the last dragon. You possess the power of the glow. Okay, uh, if you guys haven't seen this, you guys must be living under a rock. This movie is fucking amazing. The best fight scene ever recorded on film. The glow. Oh, God. Number 13. <laughs> uh, Demolition Man. Uh, fucking fantastic. Best. Oh, well, mm, definitely tied for best villain in a feature film. Simon Phoenix, amazing. Next. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Mine Hunters. I'm not playing with you peeps. Talk about, uh, all right, if you didn't see it, I'm sorry. Christian Slater dies in the beginning. Uh, Val Kilmer dies. Uh, it's back and forth. You don't know what the hell's happening. It's fucking amazing. Soak it in. Soak it in. All right. Boom. Then it goes to Roger Dodger. This movie, um, Christine, I uh, tag your it. Uh, obviously tagged in the vid. Um, Bill put me onto it. Um, I put it in while I was playing, like kind of uh, on the internet, you know, just kind of glancing at stuff. And I was like, I'll just side view it. I'll tell Bill it was good, you know. Da, da, da. And then I'm side viewing, side viewing, side, bam, computer off. I'm glued. Amazing. Definitely uh, one of the best movies. Um, yeah. And we come down to number 10. I'm sorry, you guys might disagree, but uh, my best friend's girlfriend is fucking amazing. Uh, it's kick-ass. Uh, mm, I mean, it's it's all there. It's all there. It's just badass. I'm a Dane fan, I'm not going to lie. And uh, this movie just kicks ass. All right. Man. Swingers. I mean, you guys saw the poster. This is obviously... One of the best movies you will ever see. Uh, it's a cult classic. Uh, it was known as the Bible at one point. Now let's see what we're going down to. Peeps, a little quick summary. All right. A little quick sum. A little quick sum. Now we come to number eight of the greatest movies of all time. Bam. Shocker. Law-abiding citizen. If you guys haven't seen this, it's kind of new, kind of not. Uh, I bought it. Had no idea. Became number eight. On the greatest movie scale. So go see that movie. Number seven, baby. You guys probably never saw it. Feast. I mean, I've, I'm, I try to get everybody to watch it. This is a movie where when you think that's the main character and that's the guy, you're dead. And that's oh, it's pretty good. All right. Number six was my favorite for the longest time. Number one this was, and then stuff just started smacking it around. Broken Arrow, The Man, John Travolta, favorite actor. God, this movie was amazing. When I, fr I saw it four times in the theaters. Four times in the theaters, all right? Number five, 
Slashers. You guys never saw this movie either. This is a hard find. I stumbled across it, and um, it was fucking amazing. And it was my favorite movie until other movies, the top four, took the title. Number four, Southland Tales. All right, peeps. The guy who made Donnie Darko, he makes this film. I haven't found anybody who actually likes it, okay? But I love it. And it was number one for a while, but... It didn't hold. It didn't hold the title, but fourth greatest movie in the world, that's pretty fucking good. Number three, London. Okay, we have uh, Chris Evans, Jason Statham, Jessica Biel. Um, this movie was out of control. This is normally, as you can, if you guys ever saw that one, this is not in the normal theme of my favorite movies, but this one had it, you know? Had it! So that comes number three. Ooh, ooh, now we come down to number two. Number two is Devil's Rejects. Rob Zombie does it up. And this movie was filthy. I mean, it was brutal. It was awesome. Number two greatest film of our time. Now, drum roll. <laughs> number one greatest movie of our time. And I have never had a movie where usually when the movie's over, I shut it off. Clink. And I'm like, ah, it's done. Uh, this one, I had my mouth open just because I, I couldn't believe it. And um, for that, and it went through the credits. It hit the menu screen, and I was still, I was still in awe of the film. Number one, you guys have to see it, The Mist. I mean, Jesus Christ, this movie was so kick-ass. It is not even funny. It is the greatest movie I have ever seen. Peeps, once again, let's do a spin. All these, nothing, nothing. Nothing, 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 uh, nothing, nothing. We see the list in 20, 19, 18, 17, 17, 17, 17, So, uh, yeah. So I just want to let you peeps know, uh, those are the top 20 greatest movies. If you have any problems, any comments, by all means, do it up. And on the 26th, it's going down. Comedy. And I leave you with this note. Um, this is my favorite song in the world. If anybody's ever hanged out with me, this has been heard. Um, but on the 26th, my time is now. You guys won't be able to see me, but... I'm still hot, knock your shell off. All right, just in case you guys didn't know, because DTV hasn't been flowing uh, like the Chocolate River that it used to, but um, yeah, we're coming back. I wanted to do a nice little top one, write a little comment on the bod. Um, yeah, that's it for all today, peeps. So, peace out. If you got a problem with the top one, let me know, but uh, it's pretty legit. Later, peeps.